Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty, man. Hey, the quarantine, I ain't even gonna flex. Got the whole world in shambles right now. But here's how you could make thirty to fifty thousand dollars trading forex. All right, so the first things first. Hey, man, you have to get like one to three pairs. Literally, you can delete all the pairs. I know once you open up your, well, not open up brokers, but once you open up your account basically your default account is going to come with like i don't know like five to ten different pairs okay so what you could do is just clean all that up get like one to three pairs that you actually like that you can actually trade i would say master one to three pairs that's what's going to help you get to that 30 grand to 50 grand a month mark other than that you're going to be fucking playing with this shit man it, I, I, do you want to get rich or not i'm just saying so straight to the point all right so first you're gonna need like one or three pairs to lead everything off your account so you should only have three uh three pairs on your meta trader or three pairs on your dock when you're trading for your quotes when you're trading that's the first things first what i'm saying focus on those is because when you focus on those three pairs you're not looking everywhere else yeah you know they got inverses and correlations and stuff like that but the thing is it's just like mastering one hustle you know what i'm saying if you haven't if, why move on to three different hustles if you haven't mastered that first hustle so basically stick into that three pairs stick into those three pairs will help you master your hustle now i'm gonna go ahead and spark this because it's the fuck i do you know what i'm saying i don't know if jake gonna actually burn out here this time They're like yeah get a better lighter <laughs> or have a torch you feel me but that's that so number two man is leverage so the thing is like depending on what brokerage you work with you have to work with the leverage that works with you what i mean is like if you want big game I mean, you're gonna have to fuck with something that has a lot of leverage. Other brokers, yes, they offer, you know, higher leverage. Some brokerages may be regulated and some maybe not, you know, but at the end of the day, you have to have a, a simple, you gotta have a little bit of leverage so you can make some money. That's the only way you're gonna really be able to make some money. I'm over here trying to spark this J, feel me? That shit be fucking tripping. I got the worst lighter, bro, ever. All you do when you spark fucking joints is waste weed. Especially while out. But, um, oh, there you go. But yeah, so, shit. Ultimately, man, the next thing that you need to do, number three, so number one was master the three pairs. Number two was high leverage. All right, so number three, you're gonna have to have a strategy that works for you. So now we're gonna start getting into the numbers, right? Cause I mean, a lot of this is the numbers. I know I've showed you the lifestyle, Shit, showed you the numbers showed you how to live but now it's literally the numbers it's going to be the math that makes sense so if your math and calculations are all fucked up you won't be able to scale up because at the end of the day this forex thing i know they've sold this shit to you as a oh join my team hey this is a fucking business this ain't a yeah you can play on the team but at the end of the day like when you press that buy and sell button that's you all right so your strategy now a lot of people you guys go through 30 40 different strategies um I don't know why you go through so many different strategies. It's like you'll have one strategy and like your strategy is the way you insert the market, the way you enter and exit. You know what I'm saying? You'll have your ins and outs and then like you'll fucking change it because you've seen somebody make more money than you. But then your fucking account's not even big enough to even hold that leverage or even hold that weight for, or, or even hold the swings or your trading my style might be just a scalper or something like that. So you're chasing after the dollar sign and yeah, you should be not you should be chasing money yeah i mean yes and no more so chasing the skill and then the money will come but i mean at the end of the day i know you guys are trying to use this forex thing to pay your bills but this should be your secondary source of income or third source of income before you start trying to use this shit to pay your bills if you want to go full time you're going to need to be making like four thousand to ten thousand dollars a month and well i don't know how much your bills is but this california life costs a little bit you know what i'm saying and then i'm incorporating taxes into that too so you don't get to take everything home you think you get the this just like the lottery you know what i'm saying you you win a million dollars you think you take the whole million home you fuck around and only get five hundred thousand <laughs> you like where'd all my money go but i mean that's how the game works so that's why i'm telling you you know the numbers are a very big part of the game so you guys get on youtube you go learn the strategy um you really don't want to do the work you're really just trying to throw some indicators on the charts because you just you want the quick fix you guys want to get high off your own supply you like getting high you don't you know what i'm saying you're not trying to eat if you want to make thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month you need to first change your mindset to learn that this is a business check it out so this is how to make three thousand i'm gonna start i'm gonna start too small i'm gonna go from three and then we're gonna scale ourselves up to 30 and then 50. all right so three thousand a month all right so three thousand a month you're gonna be basically this is after taxes you're gonna be probably needing to make like four well maybe like five to seven grand all right because taxes gonna eat away depending on wherever the fuck i don't know where you guys are based out of and stuff like that but 
uh, and Cali is high as shit. So I, wherever you guys are based out of, the taxes are working to that. But even with just, you know, business in general, man, when you make $100 in business, you're supposed to split that shit in half, you know, put 50 aside so you, you uh, this is yours and then the rest is you pay the man you pay the workers you it like that's how it works you know what i'm saying so it's the same thing with this whole forex thing and you should incorporate that in your strategy so a uh, 0.01 now let's say you got a small account you can start 0.01s will add up i know you're like but i won't make any money yeah but you're a new booty at this shit you're trying to fucking flip your account from five dollars to a million dollars in a week and you're Literally, you're not, you don't want to. You want to get rich tomorrow. You don't want to scale out your account. You're not trying to grow your account. So, like I said, man, if you really want to grow your account, 0 0.01 your way up to a thousand dollars, and then you know start scaling up. Depending on depending on what it is, depending on what you do, you like, man, that won't make me any money. Like I said, man, you guys, you got your own way on how you're doing it. I'm just trying to help you safely get to the goal that you're trying to get to. Um, shit if you go big of course i mean i don't know what the size of your account you know what i'm saying at 0.01s they work on some small small accounts but as you start getting you know bigger growth and stuff that you can start using your standards uh shit how i would do it really is just um go down to like a standard run that shit up like 50 pips on the standard that's like 500 dollars, and do like 500 dollars a day or i will break my standard down into quarters so i'm not gonna push my whole standard at one time i'm gonna push my standard down into quarters and do it four different times so i'm gonna push that quarter and then do 50 pips on that quarter you know what i'm saying just i'm i'm, make, I'm gonna make the same money it, it may take a little bit longer but i didn't have to risk my whole standard i was able to break my break my pie down and then make money off the slices but there's a there's a beauty in that i just told you how i broke the standard down to four quarters and then you make money off the slices so i mean that's a takeaway you guys can take away on how you can really start moving this bread you, so you want to incorporate that into your plan you know what i'm saying so that's th those are some numbers and stuff and then i'll uh, i'll go home and i'll add like actual graph and show you guys really how to do the risk and stuff i'll incorporate that into this part of the strategy so i'll do a voiceover at this part you know what i'm saying and then we're gonna move into number four all right so how to make 30k to 50k a month trading forex now i got this graph i'm gonna be 100 with you i got lazy i didn't feel like making a whole pdf thing doing the voice or i was like fuck it if i just wrote it on here i can go back to doing what i'm doing you did so check it out so here's the amount that you would need in your account and here's the scale so let's break it down so starting with a 500 dollars account all right now this isn't the full 30k yet but we'll get there this is only we'll start at a thousand then we'll move to five thousand 10,000, 30,000, and then 50,000. So if you want to do a thousand a month, here's how to, here's the plan and here's how to do it, right? So you're going to need to make $50 a day saying that the trading week is five days a week. All right, so five times five is 25, which will give you $250. And then you do that times four. You're like, well, where'd you get the time four from, Tyler? Well, four weeks in a month. All right, that will give you 1,000 for the month. So that's the math on that. So we're going to breeze through these just because I don't want to make this part of video the long part of video again. I mean, it's the map, you know what I'm saying? But it's the most important. It is the most important, all right? So then $2,500, all right? So this is how you get to the 5,000. Now you can do it from less, but I'm just saying just so you can scale and you know do it properly, right? Check this out. You're gonna need to make $250 a day on this, all right? Now, how do you achieve that? So you can do 0.10s uh, five times. Uh, I mean, well, five times, five times. And what I mean is, so you do 0.10s, uh, random shits up, 50 pips, that's like $50, and then you do that five times. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're a scalper. Maybe, uh, maybe you have a different plan. Maybe you are able to hold it long term. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh man, I seen a big sale on a daily, so I'm gonna just hold it for 100 pips, 200 pips, or maybe you trade indexes. So, however, you get this, you in a sense, you can get it, you can say it's a dollar a pip, you know what I'm saying? So, however, you get your 250 a day, you get your 250 a day. It's how you get it, it's your strategy, all right? That's gonna be your entries and your exits. Your goal is just to hit this shit and max out this board, all right? So, next, boom, is that will accumulate and bring you $1,250 a week, and then you do that four weeks in a row. That would bring you five bets, easy five bets, all right? Not to pay the taxes on that shit though, but I mean, shit, so you should really be trying to aim for like seven, eight, or nine bets, so. But next, boom, so let's say you have 5,000 in your trading account, all right? You're gonna need 500 a day, so you can hit 10,000 a month. Super simple, simple. If you got 5,000 in your trading account, you're gonna need to make 500 a day, so you can hit 10,000 a month, 
Or, I mean, maybe you want to scale a little bit fast. I'm just giving you a quick way to get there. Really, boom, you do $500 a day on that account. I mean, I, I mean, that's like maxing it, really. You feel me? That's really maxing it. But, I mean, you can break this down to fit whatever your plan is. This is just a plan, you know, that if you are that type of trader or if you really know how to max out a trading plan, I mean, this will really help you, all right? So, boom, 500 a day, you got time five. That's five trading days a week. Let's say you're positive all five days. Then that will go ahead and bring you $2,500 a week. You do that four times, which is four weeks, four times a month. That's going to bring you $10,000 a month. All right? Damn shit. Jay's always going out. But, hey, so $10,000. All right, now let's get to the 30K. $10,000. All right, you got 10K in your trading account. You're going to get $1,500 a day. All right, you do that five times a week. That will bring you $7,500 for the whole week. Okay, you do that four times or you do that. Uh, you do that four times. All right, so you do that four times, and then that will bring you $30,000 a month. All right, so then next, you have $25,000. All right, in your trading account. All right, so I know I'm like, oh, 50 cash. Some people can max it out. You can do a lot more, especially if you trade in commodities or whatever you like to trade. You know what I'm saying? Indexes, whatever you like to trade. But hey, currency market is one thing. You got other pairs. I mean, but. Just as you know, sometimes your gains are just as big as your losses depending on what you're doing. So you need to know what you're doing. All right, so you can break this plan down right here and really go smaller and really go into increments and apply it to your plan so you can really build up a trading account and get cracking. All right, maybe maybe you're not at 1,000 a month. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm only at 100. Maybe you're not at the 1,000. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm only at 500. I mean, break it down, baby. You feel me? So next, 25,000, all right? Make $3,125 a day. All right, you do that five times a week, which is five days a week. The foreign exchange market is open five days a week. All right, so you do that five days a week. That's going to bring you $12,500. All right, $12,500. You do that four times, which means you do that for four weeks straight. That will bring you $50,000 a month. And then that's how you go ahead and make $30,000 to $50,000 a month in Forex. I'm about to go to Spark to J and get back cracking doing what I was doing. All right, so number four is like, I know uh, every fucking guru tells you this, but it's your mindset. And my mindset is I'm not fucking with no broke niggas. Um, I'm not listening to no broke niggas. I'm not, no. So you wanna be on some rich nigga shit? Then you gotta change your mind. You're not listening to no broke shit. You're not, you're, you're, it's, it's see, I'm, and what I mean is it's the energy. Like you wanna be wealthy, but you don't have a wealthy energy. It's like a magnet. You're not attracting wealth into your life because you're not oscillating on that energy. So you need to remove all that bullshit out your life, start adding in the health, that good, healthy, wealthy energy. And that's what's gonna take your mind and your body and your finances to the next level. It's what you listen to. You are what you eat. You know what I'm saying? If you eating junk food and not working out and shit, then expecting to have like, you know, the body of your dreams or whatever the fuck, then I mean, shit, you're probably not gonna get it. Why? First off, you're eating junk food. Second off, you're not doing the work. So, right? But like I said, some people mindset, you guys come in this shit, you wanna get rich tomorrow. And for those uh, account flipper guys and girls and, and lads out there, you literally watch these people, man, you'll see they'll be in fucking drawdown three and $4,000 to make $20. Bro, so you risk $4,000 to make $20. Like I said, bro, you gotta listen to people who are making the real dough, really doing this shit. Um, if I'm risking four grand, I wanna make $100,000. And you like, what? That doesn't even, but see, it depends on what you trade. Some people are trading commodities. Some people are trading the indexes. Some people are trading currencies. So there's different type of instruments that you can trade in the foreign exchange. Maybe, maybe indexes aren't for you. Maybe you don't have the leverage to take those things or maybe you don't know how to scalp it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you wanna to stick to the currencies and, and move a little bit slower. All right, but like I said, all of that has to fit into your strategy. All that's gonna fit into into the game and your numbers. When when it comes down to it, if you really want to make thirty to fifty thousand dollars a month, man, you need to be pushing at least ten thousand dollars a week. All right, that's gonna be about shit one to two thousand dollars a day, um, fifteen hundred dollars a day. That's what's gonna get you there. All right, so that's going that's that's what's gonna bring that big check in for you, so you can start eating. You like, well, how do I do that? You need to find a few per currency pairs that move to your liking.
all right? Some pairs offer 50 to 100 pips a day. Some pairs offer 50 to 5,000, I mean, not 5,000, 50 to 500 uh, pips a day. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta pick that pair or pick that instrument that works for you, all right? And your risk factor. All right, so number five, you wanna make 30 to $50,000 a month. But the thing is, I know something about a lot of people. I know, look, Eric Thomas and all the other gurus and, and no shots to ET, he's very inspiring, bro. He's inspiring the shit out of me. But bro tell you too, hey, people are just lazy. They don't want to put in the work. The reason I'm able to fucking live like this, survive through recessions and shit, and really just do what I do is because I'm a fucking bull. At the end of the day, I don't like taking no for an answer, that, which is why I start delivering a no. And now I'm in a position to tell people no. So the thing is, I take massive action. You wanna you wanna make fifty thousand dollars a month, but you're fucking lazy. How does that even How does that even work? You wanna make thirty thousand dollars a month, live like this and shit. What you really wanna do? Let me tell you what you really wanna do. Make fucking YouTube videos about making thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month. That's what you really wanna fucking do, cause you don't wanna put in the work. So, but if you wanna put in the work, I mean, this ain't the the newest newest phantom and shit, but it's still a phantom, and I'm sliding in it, bitch. <laughs> You feel me? And what's crazy, what's crazy about this whole thing is like, at the end of the day, I'm a 26 year old, man. Long Beach, this my fucking city, man. Um, shit, crazy history here, all type of stuff. But the thing is, why am I able to do this? Because I just worked harder in preseason. When everybody was out clubbing and partying and shit, like I was working, man. I'm trying to figure out the game. And the thing is, my hunger for being number one is, 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 is so fucking high that my body won't allow me to be number two. My mind, I can't go to sleep and be like, oh, you number two. Like, what the fuck? I can't even sleep at number two. So it's I have to live at number one. You know what I'm saying? And you have to get that shit in your soul where you like, nigga, I would I am not accepting less. I just won't accept less. So that's the thing. Stop being fucking lazy. Don't accept less. Demand more of yourself and put in the work. Oh, Tyler's gonna tell us, bro, you wanna make 50 grand a month? I gave you the game plan. In here also, I'm gonna give you the uh the what is that thing I said I was gonna give him? Um in here also, I'm gonna give you the actual spreadsheet where you can see the actual numbers and with the voiceover so you guys got all of that inside the video. And this shit is gonna take your mind to a new level, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how you do it in Forex. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a numbers game. So if you don't know how to compound your accounts over months, if you're not, if you're if you're not at 30 to 50 grand a month, shit, you gotta get to 3,000 first. You gotta get to 5,000 first. You gotta get to 10,000 first. Like, you still got to get there. So go put in your fucking work. Get off this video. I know after this, you're about to turn on another strategy video because your strategy, you you need another strategy. Yet another strategy. Bro got bro got 100 strategies and ain't making nan fucking dollar. <laughs> maybe it's because you got too many strategies. You know what I'm saying? Your fucking mind can't think. You're like, oh man, maybe I should use this strategy or this strategy or this strategy. Hey man, fuck the strategy. Figure out something that works for you. Learn how to read. Uh, me, I, I know how to read the charts, so I don't have shit on my charts. I just, I'm a shark, motherfucker. I wait and I hunt. You dig? But it's your boy Ty, man. Not this bitch.